my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Alternate picking, you are practicing it wrong. You are. And the reason why I can say that is because every single video I have ever received of people practicing alternate picking has been people who were practicing alternate picking wrong. So what do I mean? And how can I say such a thing, right? But it, it's because we attack it like it's engraving, you know, engraving something in a ring or something. You know, that's a slow process. You have to like really make sure you don't make mistakes because if you do, it's ugh, you have to start over, right? You have a, you, you know, you, you ruined it, right? So it's a slow process of, of picking the string up and down, right? It's like I have a downstroke and I have an upstroke and I'm moving the pick up and down. But, but alternate picking at its highest level is not engraving. It's not like, okay, I'm picking up, I'm trying to make this happen faster and faster. How are you going to be very fast at engraving something in a, <laughs> in a whatever, stone or a, a piece of metal? It never happens fast. Even robots who do stuff like that do it relatively slowly, right? It's precision work, precision work which means that the more details is involved and the smaller those details are, the slower you go with the human, you know, hand and fingers. So <coughs> how does this relate to picking? Well, because you have to do something that's very, very, um, you can say there's a lot of details involved, right? And you really should be doing it slowly to get it right. So how do we make that fast? That's the whole point, and that's why most people are practicing wrong. And when I say wrong, I just mean ineffectively, right? There is no, there's no right or wrong. It's just what what do I get out of practicing, right? But you have to go from a mindset of digging into the string, trying to do an upstroke and a downstroke and vice versa, you know, back and forth, to this. This is a motion that you could say that you know tremolo picking on one string, right? That's uncontrolled. But what you need to do is you need to be able to control the pendulum. What is the pendulum? When I pick, I feel that that weight in my fingers here. They kind of, you know, they fall down like it's like having, you know, this is it's it's easy to do an even motion with my hand like that. But with my finger, it's more of a ah, you know, it's, it doesn't get as even because I don't have the weight of the of the arm to make that, you know, like a pendulum swinging. It's going to be an even motion. Try to do the same with your finger, it's not gonna be, you know, right? Because you don't have that guidance from the weight and the gravity. Make sense? Okay, so when I'm doing this, these fingers are actually that pendulum. And when you're picking, it's like it's like a pendulum. It's like a, a, a back and forth movement. Then you add the string afterwards, right? It's not like engraving motion, it's like this. And then you make sure that your picking depth isn't like so deep that you have to use your arm to make the pendulum happen, right? You don't need that picking depth. It's simply not uh, necessary unless you don't have accuracy. How do you develop that accuracy? Well, practice the picking depth. I'm, pi I'm picking so shallowly on the string that you can't even see the pick if you watch it from the side. The pick doesn't go below the string because it doesn't have to. The second you go below the string in picking depth so you can actually see it underneath the string, it's just extra resistance and it impairs your ability to go like that. So alternate picking, at, at, at high speed alternate picking, is the discipline of disciplining your pendulum. Right? You have to make this controllable so it's not just a spasm like, like a cramp in the hand. That's what you're working on. You're not working on engraving very fast. Like, right? It's impossible. <coughs> I hope this makes sense. Right? So it's like, yeah. <laughs> right? It's a like that. It's not a you know, does it make sense? When you look at when you're practicing next time, see see how much you are really performing each and up and down stroke, right? Instead of doing this and then controlling it, and that that makes you able to when you are practicing it slow, which is what you need to be able to play fast. You can instead of engraving, right, and having that 
that focus. You can start saying, okay, but da 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 even motion, da 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 picking depth, da 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 da. Right. You can focus on the right things, and then you can practice at a tempo where your brain can start learning and getting it right because you're not stressing and straining and trying to come up with a shortcut. Right. You're intelligent now. Does this make sense? I hope it does. It really does for me, and it works once you start using it. Of course, you have to learn to practice like that, and you have to unlearn trying to engrave your way to great guitar picking skills, right? And uh, so that was it. And go download our sweet picking course. It's free. Just the link just below here, and check out our memorial sale we got on right now. Huge savings. And if you watch this video on a time where the sale is over, sign up. Right. Go download the free programs. Then you're on our mailing list, and I'll tell you about the sale when there's a new one coming. Okay. That was the sales message. I hope you go back and practice alternate picking, and then I uh, hope you'll check out the new program when it comes out a couple of weeks from now. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.